so this is my final film review of 2021. I'm going to be staying in, mainly because I don't have my booster. But this is the last movie I got to see in theaters for 2021. And I gotta admit, I'm glad it was this one. The King's Man is the third movie in the Kingsman franchise. It is a prequel to the other two movies, and it focuses on the birth of the Kingsman organization, along with focusing on several events of World War One. I'm a pretty big fan of the other two movies. I'm actually a pretty avid defender of the Golden Circle, which was not really received that well. But I do think the Golden Circle has its moments, and the first film is absolutely incredible to me. I would say the biggest difference between the other two films and this one is that this is much more serious. It's dealing with actually historic events, and it's really playing off those kinds of events. There are real-life figures being used here, like Rasputin. And that's a very different tone when it comes to the little, even whimsical parts of the first two movies. But here... It's still a spy movie. It's very it's world ending stuff obviously. We're talking about World War 1 here, but I do think the historical elements were integrated very well here. For example, the leaders of England, Russia, and Germany are all played by the same actor because they are they were all cousins and were related to Queen Victoria. So that little trio right there, you see, those are all the same actor. And I I like that consistency here. Of course, we can't talk about Kingsman without the electrifying fight sequences. The dancing fight thing with Rasputin is incredible. And also, Rasputin is a huge highlight of the movie. Uh, Reese Ephens, who recently played the Lizard in Spider-Man, he plays Rasputin in this, and he does an incredible job in this. I would say he's my favorite character in this whole thing. But Rafe finds playing Orlando Oxford really was an incredible job. I really enjoyed his performance. He really, honestly, carried the movie on his back. If that performance didn't work, it would be a lesser movie. But now, with with that performance working so well, I would say this is a pretty fun movie. Yeah, sure, there are a little bit of total inconsistencies here and there, but I had a great time with The King's Man. It had a lot of great action sequences, I loved the new integration of historic moments in our world, and I really think it was just a fun movie to watch. If you like action movies, war movies even, uh, take a look at this. Yeah.